This is the New York City Police Department. You are unlawfully in the roadway and obstructing vehicular traffic. You are ordered to leave the roadway and utilize the available sidewalk. If you remain in the roadway and refuse to utilize the sidewalk, you will be placed under arrest and charged with disorderly conduct. Thousands of protesters upset that Donald Trump will become the next president took over the streets in Midtown tonight. An unprecedented protest the day after an unprecedented election. Thousands and thousands and thousands of anti-Trump protesters completely shut down Fifth Avenue outside of Trump Tower. Remind you, this is where Trump actually lives here in Midtown Manhattan. People just came in waves chanting, not my president, not my president, having various chants throughout the evening. They're hoping to send a message to the new president-elect that they don't support him or his policies. They voted for sexism, racism, xenophobia, anti-Semitism. He's a racist, homophobic, xenophobic nightmare, misogynist nightmare. We have a messed up archaic system that makes him the president. I'm still afraid today, you know, as a black woman, I'm afraid, but I'm not going to let my fear hold me back. If he actually cared about us, he would be bringing us all together, black, white, gay, Latino, impoverished, rich. He would find a way to bring us together and unite us, not further divide us. We are seeing protests at this hour in Seattle, in Portland, Oregon. And right now happening live, a confrontation between police and protesters. And this is not the only one. You've got Chicago, Boston, Philadelphia. It sounds like Tempe, Arizona. Nashville, Tennessee, in San Jose, California. This is a, a delicate moment for the country. 